Okay, so Skylum has announced Magic Lights AI for Luminar Neo today. It's a fun new plugin that I'm really fond of. And if you watch my channel, you know that I call it like I see it. If I'm not thrilled with a plugin, I, uh, I certainly make it known. But, but this is one that, that's just a fun plugin. I'm really happy that they've released it. It's been something that has been missing from plugin makers for quite a while. Topaz used to have something very similar. Uh, several years ago, but they dropped it, and there's really been nothing in that gap since. So with that, with the announcement of this, came some good news also from Skylum if you are a Luminar Neo owner. So I want to touch base on that first. Uh, the roadmap for 2023 looks like a lot of development on Neo itself, and this is, again, this is very good news for Neo owners. So they're looking at improvements to the catalog, the user interface. Um, you're going to see stability and performance improvements through updates, um, as well as updates to the existing plugins. You're also going to see a bunch of new plugins come out for 2023 as well. So it really looks like they are focusing in on Neo. And I think, in my opinion, as a company, that's what they need to do. They need to focus on one product. And and uh, this is a great product, Neo. It's, it's shaped up to be just better and better and better with each update. So I'm happy to see that they're going to continue to improve upon this product and just continue to make it better and better. So some changes to pricing in terms of plugins. And let's take a look at that. Okay, so if you don't have an annual subscription to Luminar Neo, you can now purchase plugins individually. They're $49 a piece and you'll get a discount on a sliding scale. So if you select one, it's $49 straight up. You select two, now you're getting a 5% discount and you see how that continues to slide up the scale there until you have a 20% discount and beyond. Okay, now you're going to notice that the extension pack is $269, but individually they're $235. Now there's a reason for that. That's because I am making this video before the final plugin has been released. So I do have a copy of Magic Light AI so I can make this video so it's ready at the same time that it's released so you can see what it does. That being said, once that gets added in here, the prices would then work out so that the extension pack is a better deal. But as of right now, you can see that actually doesn't happen. Uh, and again, that's because we're missing one plugin at the time of the making of this video. So that's the reason for that. So Skylum's also added the ability for people like me to give you an additional coupon code. Now you can only use one coupon code and you can have to figure out which one works better for you. So there is now a 10% off coupon code and that's going to be Shutterspeak10, all one word, all connected there, Shutterspeak10. That's going to give you 10% off. Uh, the old code Shutterspeak is still also a good one, and that gives you $10 off. So there may be times when using the 10% off is more beneficial. Like in this case, if it was two thirty-five twenty, dollars using Shutterspeak 10 would give you 10% off, and that's going to be more than $10. That's going to be $23.52, so that's a better discount. So Shutterspeak 10 for 10% off, or Shutterspeak for $10 off. Okay, so... That's something new, and that's going to save you a little bit of money. I'm going to also include those codes in the video description for you as well. Okay, so the new plugin, as I mentioned, is Magic Lights AI. Basically, it's uh, a plugin that creates star effects on light sources within your image, but it's using AI, so it's doing it very intelligently. And it's a lot of fun, this plugin. Actually, I really like it. There used to be a plugin called Topaz Star Effects that I really loved. Uh, Topaz dropped that plugin quite a while back. Um, it was kind of buggy and never really worked all that great. But when it did work, it was a lot of fun. And uh, you can't even buy that plugin anymore from Topaz. But so now it's available in Neo, and I'm super excited about it. And because it's being done with AI, it's actually being done very intelligently. And so let me show you how it works and some of the cool things that uh, they have built into this plugin. So let's take this image. For example, and let's say we want to add little starbursts on these lights. Now, certainly we could drop these in with um, overlays, and that would be fine. But it would be, a, you know, you know, a little bit of work. And this is actually going to do it a little bit more intelligently. So let's go over to Edit, 
And from here, we're just going to go down to extensions, go to Magic Lights AI. Now, all we have to do is start dragging over the slider right here for a mount. And you see all those bursts of light. I'm going to go all the way up just so you can see what it's doing there. And obviously, I'm going to now just dial it back to something like around there. That looks nice. And now we have a lot of control over this. And one of the nice things about the AI is, as I mentioned, it's kind of intelligent. So like if you look at this foreground light, it's a warmer light and it has matching colored rays. If we look at this LED screen back here, it's a cooler, bluer light. And you can see the rays match the color coming off of that screen. Let me pump it up there so you can really see the effect. And that's one of the great things about this. It's intelligent and it is matching the color temperature for you automatically. So if you did this with an overlay, you're not going to get the same effect like this with the matching color temperature. You're going to have to go in and do all of this manually. So it's a big time saver. And you have a lot of control over this plugin. They really gave this a lot of thought, and I'm very happy about it. So obviously there's way too many points here. Let's dial them back and make it look nice. Maybe somewhere around there. Now we can control the size of the effect coming off these lights and maybe we'll dial it to somewhere around there. The width of how fat those beams are or how narrow those beams are. So maybe somewhere around there. Uh, now the glow that comes off of each of these lights, we can dial it back, have no glow or just a little bit. It's kind of up to us how clear they are. So how sharp those beams are or kind of if you want them to be a little soft and blurry, right? So let's dial that down to somewhere over there. How bright they are, we can control how bright. And the number of beams. Now this is important. So you can go up to 24 beams. And I'm going to explain to you how these beams come to be in photographs in case you don't know. Okay, so essentially what's happening is when you're taking a photograph and you're using an aperture on your camera that's very high, like f18 or f22, the light is entering your camera lens and it's hitting the blades of the diaphragm that close down the aperture of your lens. And a little bit of light seeps through those points and makes those rays that you're seeing. Okay, so most lenses have somewhere between seven, eight, or maybe nine blades in the diaphragm. So seven or eight is a very common number. Probably most lenses are right around that spot. So if you're choosing, say, eight beams, that's going to be realistic. If you're choosing a very high number, that's just not, it defies the laws of physics. So it's going to become unrealistic to anyone who has a lot of knowledge about cameras. Okay, it may look cool and you may want to do it and that's fine. And if you do, and it's a creative decision, that's up to you. But People who understand how the physics behind this are going to call foul on that and say, hey, no, that, that would never really happen. All right, so I think that the software defaults to 7, and that's a great place to be. 8 for a higher-end lens uh, would have, you know, that wouldn't be uncommon. Now you can rotate the direction of these, which is nice. And then you have a lot of ability to mask these, which is also really great. So let me show you. First off, these light sources over here wouldn't really happen. So let's get rid of them. So I'm going to actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go the opposite approach here. I'm going to paint in just the ones that I want. All right, so I would want this one here. So I'm going to paint this one in. I would want them here, 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 there, and there. Okay, so obviously we probably wouldn't get it on that screen. That's kind of unrealistic. So I've removed it from there. And you see it's not there anymore. And now, here's the nice thing that, that we can do with this now. We, we have control over this. So what we can do now is, now I can choose a race. And I'm going to bring the strength down to, eh, let's say, 60% or so. And now I'm going to erase a little bit of this one, a little bit of that one. I'm going to bring this down even more and erase back here. So now essentially what I've done is I've made... The burst, the strongest right over here, and more subtle on these lights. Actually, maybe I might have actually made it a little too subtle. So I'm going to bring it back a little bit on this one, give it a little bit extra, maybe a little bit on this one too. And you can see, so now it's very apparent in the foreground, but it becomes less apparent 
as you get further and further away, which makes a nice subtle effect. Okay, so that's something that, that's really great about this plugin. Like I said, it's matching the light source temperature for you. Uh, we can control the strength of it. Uh, we do have a little bit of a double burst coming off this light, which might be a little bit unrealistic. So what I would do is then I would probably go in and use a very small brush and just paint out those extra rays there that probably shouldn't be there. Okay, so we can kind of fix that pretty quickly. So we have a lot of control. It does a nice job. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, so in this image here, we're going to go over to edit. Same thing, right on down to extensions and magic lights AI. And we can just pop that right up. And right off the bat, you see how it has, again, matched the color temperature of that orangey light really, really well. Now, one thing I do want to say is when you're using this effect, just be aware that you don't want it to become so intense that it becomes the subject of your image. So what I've done here now is I've, I've over applied it, right? It's a subtle finishing effect. I've over applied it and I've made it now the star of the image. And maybe again, there are times when that might be what you want, but if, you know, the subtlety of this image should be the woman looking at the candle, right? We can apply just a small amount to it. And like I said, we can make a really, really nice effect there. And it's just adding to the image. It's not taking away from the image. It's not overpowering the image. It's just a little bit extra, a little finishing touch. Okay, in this image we have a candle here in the foreground, and this is something that you can do, especially now it's holiday season. So, uh, you know, definitely try this out on your holiday lights, uh, Christmas tree, um, you know, whatever it is you might have at home during this holiday season that, that's going to have a lot of points of light, uh, menorah, certainly, things like that. So let's go over to Magic Lights AI, and we're just going to dial this right in there, okay? And again, we're now overpowering our image, but again, same thing what we can do is now let's just go into masking, and I'm just going to brush this out. I'm going to erase it actually completely. from these candles. I'm gonna to try to erase it completely anyway. Well, I didn't dial my strength all the way up. That's my bad. There we go. Okay, so now we have our starburst on our first candle. And now let's see what we can do with and make this even better. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come back into the tool and I'm going to apply the tool again. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into ma Magic Lights and I'm gonna bring it back up again. And now this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my beam width and just throw a little blur in there, make them a little fatter, make them a little wider so they look a little blurrier. I'm gonna bring the size of them back a little bit because they're in the background there and they should be distorted and maybe a little bit blurred and um, you know, we'll give a little bit more extra glow to them in the background there maybe. And now what I'm gonna do is just go back to masking Take my brush, I'm gonna erase it from the foreground effect right there, so it's only on the background. And now essentially what I've done is I have made a nice clear effect in the foreground and a softer, blurrier effect in the background. And if it's too much, I can even dial this one back a little bit. So that's even a little softer back there. Maybe this one too, maybe a little bit softer. And like I said, it's just a little kiss of a finishing touch. So. Nice job here with the masking and being able to uh, layer this effect on top of itself over and over to create just the exact look that you're looking for. All right, so that's your first look at Magic Lights AI. Again, I think it's a lot of fun. I'm really happy that they threw that one in there. You know, sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of fun with your photography. It keeps things fresh. And uh, this is going to be probably the easiest way you're going to be able to add star bursts to your images, bar none color matching, full control over size, orientation, um, you know, the number of beams, the width of the beams, the glow. So home run on the part of Skylum with this one. I think they did a great job. Hey, thanks for watching YouTube. I appreciate you.
If anything in this video has helped you out, please help me out by hitting like, subscribe, and of course ring the bell so you get notified of future updates. I appreciate you, and as always, very nice to see your smiling face again here on YouTube. Bye-bye.